Does your tone of voice impact your relationships? That's what we're gonna talk about today because tone of voice is part of nonverbal communication and 93% of our communication is nonverbal and that includes our tone. And our tone is super, super important. But first, my name is Michelle Ferris, if you're new here, and I'm a relationship therapist and I help people create relationships that work. So when we don't address our tone, we're missing a major piece of the puzzle in terms of how we're coming across in our communication. And this is gonna impact whether or not we get heard. And I know for a lot of you, being heard is a major need. And I want to support you in getting that and looking at how our tone might be impacting that is gonna be really key. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five different tones of voices that tend to impact our relationships the most. Okay, all right, let's get started. Now there are a few different kinds of tones we need to be aware of. But again, some of you, if you're a people pleaser, if you're codependent, may not think you ever have a tone because you're really nice. But there's a tone that you might relate to as well. So the first tone that you really need to be careful about is the aggressive tone. This is the tone that's angry, we tend to be blaming, we tend to be hurtful. And the result of that tone is that people want to move away from us, okay? They don't want to talk to us. They avoid us like the plague because when we're being aggressive, we're being scary. If you grew up in a family that had that tone, of course you're gonna adopt it as an adult because that's what we do. We adopt what we learn or we decide to do the exact opposite, which isn't healthy either. All right, so the second tone I want to talk about is sarcastic. This is that person who has that humor, but it's got an edge to it. You might feel like you're being made fun of. You might feel like it's hurtful. And this is a tone that really impacts our ability to be heard because most people are gonna, not gonna wanna participate in the conversation anymore. The, the thing is with a sarcastic tone is that the person may be thinking, I'm being funny, especially if their family use sarcastic humor. But you wanna gauge this in relationship because sometimes it's okay and sometimes it's hurtful. Now the third tone is the tone where you might be anxious or overwhelmed. So this is a tone that you might be really fast talking, but you're, you're really amped up because you're overwhelmed or you're anxious. And the problem with that tone is that it makes everybody around you feel that way too. So if you've ever been around an anxious person, I'm guessing that you probably started to feel anxious too. And that's really common because without really good boundaries, somebody else's overwhelm can easily become our overwhelm. So that's an important tone to be aware of because if you're running around really overwhelmed all the time, you may not realize that you're actually overwhelming other people with your tone, okay? And of course, the solution to that is really looking at how to calm down, how to self-soothe and take care of yourself so you're not running on empty. So the next tone is a monotone and this is the person who's flat and they don't tend to have a lot of emotion. So they might give one word answers like, yep, sure, whatever you want. And the problem is, is that that can be a sign of depression. The appearance of a flat tone is that you're not interested because there's not any emotion in the tone. Now that doesn't mean you need to sound really emotional, but it may just mean that you need to infuse a little bit of kindness so that your tone sounds a little warmer. Kind of like if you're talking to a pet or somebody you love, your tone changes. So sometimes the person, if this is you, you can practice on kind of making your tone a little warmer. Because again, when our tone is flat, other people may think that we're not interested in what they're saying, which isn't necessarily the truth. So the last one is assertive, and this is the goal. This is when we're not blaming other people, we sound firm and we sound kind. Just like I'm right now, I'm focused and I'm engaging with you and my voice might be a little bit of passion in it, but it's not scary and it's not demeaning and it's not condescending, okay? So that's really the goal. But the other caveat here is that when you're upset, you're gonna have a tone. There's no way around that. But the goal is, is to sound upset, but not intimidating, condescending, or scary. So that might look like if I'm upset, I might say something like, I'm really upset right now. Now notice that my voice is intense. It's a little louder, but it's not out of control. It's not snarly. So watching your tone is really, really important, especially in more difficult conversations or conflict. But 
I by no means mean to say that you shouldn't have a tone because sometimes you are gonna have a tone. You are gonna be upset and that's okay. So how do you change your tone? Well, first you have to be aware of it. Second, if you're not sure what it is, ask somebody you trust because that's really, really valuable information. Because again, the goal here isn't to become a perfect human being, it's doing it better one day at a time and making sure that you can sound direct and assertive in your communication even when you're upset so that other people can still hear you. Also think about when is it the hardest? because that's gonna tell you where the work is. Because if you tend to have a tone with your mother-in-law or with your partner the most, then that's what you wanna look at first. Because we wanna be able to have a tone of voice and express ourselves in a way that isn't hurtful to other people. Next week, I'm gonna talk about how certain tones of voices tend to trigger us and what that childhood piece is in that. Because if you grew up in a family where there was alcoholism, where there was trauma, where there was abuse, you are likely gonna be more sensitive to tones of voices. And we're gonna talk about that next week. So be sure to hit subscribe and come back next week and watch the video. Take care.